Now that plastic trim turned out great. Plus, restoring it is a lot less expensive than replacing it. Now, the next part I'm going to tackle is the back glass here. Now, you can see that there's water spots on the back of this 20-year-old Equinox, and chances are they've been there a long time. Now, there's different types of water spots. There are topical water spots, meaning they sit above the surface, meaning they're topical, and then there's etched water spots, which are actually below the surface. What happens is when water stays on a surface, especially if it's hard water from a sprinkler, is the water evaporates, but the minerals are left behind and actually etch the surface, and it creates unsightly water spots. And depending on how long they've been on there, it can be rather difficult to remove. So I'm going to show you a process to remove the water spots, and that's by using a glass restore. So there's a glass cleaner, which is designed to remove topical uh, road film and grime, and then to really get in there and scrub the surface clean, just to remove the water spots and also some very light scratches, not deep scratches, but light scratches. This will actually smooth everything over and really restore the clarity to the glass so it's crystal clear and it's less of a safety hazard. Plus, your windshield wiper or your rear wiper will work a lot better when there's not all this gunk on the glass. So I'm actually going to start by using a spray on glass cleaner just to remove the topical dirt and contamination so I'm not grinding into the surface. And I like to use glass cleaners that are safe um, on tinted windows as well as regular windows. And I also like to use glass cleaners that don't smell bad. So there's a quality product for everything, some more than others. So I like to make sure I purchase products that work really well and also provide a enjoyable experience for me to use them. Because when you're out in your garage, the last thing you want are products that smell bad or products that make you cough and hack because they utilize inexpensive components. So with anything else, you get what you pay for. So at this point, I went ahead and I removed the topical dirt and grime. And actually when I wipe with my towel too, you can actually see the film on here and also the water spots. When the surface is wet, amplifies whatever's on the surface. And that's also an easy way to even determine if you have water spots. I would encourage you, once this is over, go out in your garage or your driveway, clean your windshield or your back glass and the cleaner will reveal the true condition of the glass. So moving forward, I have a random orbital polisher here. This is a dual action, which is they're also called. And what makes this different is this pad rotates and oscillates compared to a rotary machine that just spins in a circle. So I have a foam polishing pad on here and a specialized high performance glass restore that's designed to deep clean the glass, like I was saying, it gets much deeper on the surface um, compared to a traditional spray and wipe glass cleaner like I just used. So, apply it directly to my foam applicator pad. And you can do this by hand too, but the difference is that my hand gets tired after I do this for a few minutes or this, the machine never gets tired. So work smart and not hard. And I'm going to put down a tape line. So once I wipe it again with the cleaner, you'll be able to see the difference here. And what you can actually do as well to save time is do this before you wash the car. So when you actually wash it, if you have any splatter, it'll be easily wiped away or washed away with your wash mitt or your sponge. So take your product and you wanna spread it out on the surface before you turn the machine on to avoid any unnecessary splatter. And then I'm going to be at a medium to high speed setting and I'm going to be applying about 15, 20 pounds of pressure making slow overlapping passes because I really want the abrasives to engage and remove the actual water spots that are in the glass. Also a product like this works on a chemical level using natural citrus cleaners. Don't lift the machine off the surface until the pad has stopped rotating and the actual machine is turned off. Now, if this were a, a nicer car or like a newer car, what I would actually do is I would spend a few minutes to tape off the surrounding painted panels. But this is a 20 year old project car. This is just for the sake of doing before and after demonstrations. So big picture, I'm not too concerned about getting any a polish on the paint, but if it were a brand new black car, I would definitely tape that off. So take my microfiber towel and I'm going to wipe off the polish and this particular polish wipes off really easily and it does not smell bad. I'm actually going to grab a dry towel. And when you're wiping off a glass polish, you want to take short, firm strokes and flip your towel often. 
So once I wipe off all the polish, I'm going to remove the tape line and the glass cleaner will show the true condition of the surface because right now it looks great. But again, once we wet the surface, that'll really tell if the film and the water spots have been removed. So I'm going to take my glass cleaner and simply spray it on. And you can also use the glass cleaner to help aid in any removal of any stubborn residue, especially if you're working outside where it might be a little bit warmer than an air-controlled garage like this. Take my towel, and you'll see as I wipe, this is where the tape line was. The water spots and the film remains, but where I polished, it's not like that at all. There's no more film, there's no more residue. So what that means is I'll repeat this process over the rest of the back windshield or the back glass, and it'll restore the clarity to it. It'll make it look a lot better. And then I'll move on to showcasing various size buffers and pad options for a panel like this that has a lot of different sizes. So stay tuned for more. I gotta get back to work though to finish the back glass.